frequency energy vibration reading for the Sagittarian Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back, you Sagittarians. It's going to be a wonderful week for you, Sagis, because it's your birthday. It is those zodiac energies of the Sagittarius. Week begins from 26 until the 2nd of December. I want to say thank you to each and every person. Please show me the energy of the vibration or. Um, and please like and share these videos and cross watch okay for you Sagittarius what we have then is um, the king of swords in the reverse okay so that is good um, not really um, there is a lot of worries because it's as if you guys were dealing with someone who is an Aquarius Gemini or Libra and um, the seven of swords there was a tenth seven of wands you're standing your ground um, you're not worried you're seeing a situation for what it is the two of cups is coming in uh, all fair in that sort of a thing now we have the king of Pentacles whatever the situation is we have the energy of the king of Pentacles um, that is here whoever is this person um, um, you're going to go at them harsh okay so it could be someone um, it's, it's a family situation um, that is happening a family situation that you're dealing with so for you Sagittarians we have the king of swords in reverse there are some worries some of you could be dealing with this person and um, there is a conflict so this person is in reverse seven of wands you're standing your grounds against this person and you have the king of swords coming at you whether this person is they're seriously not right in their heads um, we have the energy of the two of swords there's a lot of swords energy a lot of thoughts a lot of information coming in and we have uh, um, this is uh, the king of Pentacles okay so some of you Sagis are going to be um, connecting um, there's a lot of people you have a king of a, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn some of you are going to be connected with some of you are having a situation with an Aquarian Gemini or Libra so let's see what is happening it's obviously it's a family situation that some of you um, are dealing with your partners that is an Aquarius Gemini or Libra this is not a really positive thing um, it's a learning lesson for you some of you are deciding whether or not to stay or leave a relationship you are going to be victorious okay so whatever the situation is whoever is coming at you um, you have the seven of ones you're protecting yourself and standing your ground and think hey I'm not dealing with this I'm not dealing with you I'm letting you know how far you can go stand your ground against me now there is um, a situation where there is a working um, connection um, and you could be um, connecting with people the king of um, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn is coming up here so as we look at your week I'm seeing a situation it's a family situation is is the energy of the six of cups okay it is a family situation that some of you it could be your partner your husband um, he could be an Aquarian Gemini or Libra you're seeing a situation about him and you're just deciding um, what should I do it is a lesson you could find out that your husband or partner is cheating on you it is a lesson or you could find out that your husband or partner have an outside child okay it's all about the family that is happening in this week you have the six of cups there and the six of cups here so some of you could be connecting with a Taurus a Virgo or Capricorn and you're deciding to leave this relationship behind so whoever um, this man is is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn 45 years and older some of you could be deciding to leave this relationship behind now some of you are worried about a relationship because you have a found out something and you're standing your ground and this is obviously that some of you have found out that um, your partner is having an outside relationship or has been seeing someone else it is a lesson to be learned I'm seeing here you're trying to work together to find some balance but it's not happening some of you who are with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn in the week is going to be deciding 
um, I no longer want to be in this relationship you're going to be moving forward some of you are going to be very victorious because you're standing your ground against a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man you're really standing your ground so you're coming at this person and said hey um, this is where you stop this is how far you go and there is no way um, you are going to be coming at me so um, this is um, a situation that is happening for a lot of you Sagittarius it's as if you're standing your ground and said hey listen you don't know who I am I'm not accepting this this is where it, how far you go um, it's all about the family it's all about the lessons learned about the family there's some worries but yet still you decide you're standing your ground with a relationship whoever this person is a lot of you are dealing with um, Aquarius Gemini and Libra people some of you are deciding to leave a relationship with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn there is some news that is coming from family and um, it could have to do with your partner or your husband or this news is coming in about your partner and your husband showing you something that you weren't seeing there is the energy of the clouds with a the relationship there is some blockage with the relationship whatever the situation is but it's going to be over soon and a positive energy is going to be coming out so whatever is happening and transpiring in this week there are some power struggles in a family and um, it has to do with uh, um, someone who's a Taurus who's a, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn there is obviously the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn um, person is trying to pull and um, bring out some power in the family and it says if you stand away you stand back because you're powerfully um, protected whatever the situation is or whatever the news is coming in that you're seeing it's going to be a little bit worrisome but you're going to decide hey I'm gonna work on this whether you can work on it or not you're gonna still try you're gonna see it as a learning lesson there's a lot of um, clouds that is covering but the Sun is coming out to bring positive energy some of you that was dealing with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man you're standing your ground and you're going to be victorious over the situation and said hey this is how far you go and I am not accepting anything else okay so what is the energy um, that you have spirits awaken I embrace my soul purpose and aligned all aspect of my life fully and this is wonderful so Again, as we look at your reading, some someone who is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn is trying to use their power. This is someone in a family that is trying to use their power. Whoever this person is, um, <laughs> um, I'm getting the thing that he's trying to toot his own and blow his whistle, and it's not happening because no one is looking at him, basically. Um, he's a horrible person it's not really a nice person whoever this person is and whatever he's trying to do this on about you're just looking and you're thinking go on ahead and toot your horn because I'm not listening at you whatever the situation is is that you're going to be overcoming the situation you're going to stand your ground and say listen this is how far you go back up okay this is how far you go back up and it's so strange that just using the word back up how this can just let people know hey you've gone a little bit too far back up because I ain't playing this game with you anymore and this is exactly what is going to be transpiring because whosoever this man is he's um, he's a totally ridiculous person whoever this man is and <laughs> whatever he thinks that he has whatever power or whatever is going on it could be someone that is connected to your family in whatever way as uh, he's uh, married in the family or whatever he's a he's a bloody idiot okay whether this Taurus Virgo, all he knows to do is to work with black magic and, and, and pay money to do a lot of stuff. And it's not working because guess what? You have the power of the sun that is going to be coming out. The power of sun is going to come over him. And you're going to say, listen to me, I don't know who you are and who the F you are, but back up. Okay, because obviously um, some of you are going to be finding out information about this person and you are going to be looking at this person as you know you're you really lost it so not to worry about this week it's going to be a week where it's a situation a learning lesson with family you're going to be standing your ground walking away whoever that person is he has married in the family he he um, is not someone who is uh, um, 
um, can uh, blow its whistle or whatever um, and, and I'm getting that he's illiterate <laughs> I don't know where that is coming from but I'm really getting that this person is illiterate and the only thing he knows is to work with um, negative energy um, is illiteracy is a very very high meaning um, is uh, he can't read or anything um, and whenever people are like that it's as if um, you know they try other ways and all he's using is black magic and that sort of a thing now whatever the power struggle is and the power play is this is going to be over I want to say to each and every person have a nice a wonderful week and I'll speak to you next week